Welcome to a weekend research session. Today I'm very excited because uh, it's my favorite day. Uh, it's the weekend research day. So weekend research usually I'm very chill. How do? Usually I'm very chill. I'm very relaxed. I'm just having my coffee and my tea and um, sitting with you guys and looking at all the stocks, all that. So I'm very excited for today. Now, 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 now. Uh, today, why I'm more particularly excited is because uh, most importantly, why I'm more particularly excited is because so many stocks are at discount, right? I call this the Diwali 2021 discount sale. Now, last week, I don't know how many of you all remember this. Last week, we did a proper financial analysis calculator in the last weekend research session. For the first 15 minutes, we looked at an Excel sheet. Now, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers doing the same thing. They've also started making a personal Excel sheet for personal finance management with salary increment and all that. So it's nice that the trend is slowly kicking in uh, uh, constantly. So it's nice. So today we're going to talk about different stocks that I call it the Diwali 2021 sale. I'm also going to do one connecting the dots special here. I'm going to talk about something that Debjani actually observed a very, very, very interesting thing that she observed, which is connecting the dots and you can take advantage of it today and your uh, profit generation or wealth creation will happen after six months, right? So if you do it really well today, after six months, it'll do really well. Awesome. Are you guys excited? Loris Labs view also, I'll tell you what's happening with Loris Labs. I'll talk about Laura Slabs also. Okay? Are you guys excited for today? Are you guys ready? First tell me if you're ready. If you're ready, let me know, then I'll start. Okay? Chalo. Let me know if you're ready. Uh, and if you're ready, please click on the like button below. I don't have to tell you guys that by now. Please do that. Okay, chalo. So today we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about all the stocks that are there on discount right now. We're going to talk about what's happening with Loris Labs. Uh, we're going to talk about Reliance's results were good. So we're going to talk about Loris Labs. We're going to talk about one connecting the dots special that is going to benefit after six months in your March results. You will see a benefit that you can take right now. And I'll show you some data on it also. So don't worry about that. So I'll show you a lot of other things as well. So if you guys are ready, let's, let's begin. Please click on the like button and we will start as soon as possible. Okay. One second. Uh, cool. So Devjani, can you do one thing? If you're watching the stream, can you send me that, uh, can you send me that link that you said, uh, this air travel one link, I'll keep this also open. Chalo, let's begin either way. Awesome. So let's look at, okay, by the way, guys, a lot of people, first of all, let's understand this. A lot of people are panicking that the market crashed three days in a row. Uh, relax. First of all, to all the people who are panicking that the market fell three days in a row, please, please, please relax. The reason why I'm saying please relax is because I'll show you something, right? You don't have to panic too much. I'll tell you when to panic. You should panic tomorrow. If not tomorrow, Monday, you panic on Monday. I'll tell you why. Look at this. Let me open trading view once. Let me show you something. Okay. Kal karo panic if the market goes down, drastically down, which I don't think it should, but kal karo panic if it goes down. Let's look at this. This is our market right now. This is Nifty 50 index. Guys, watch this very carefully. This is Nifty 50 index. Are you observing something? This is Nifty 50 index on a daily chart. Are you observing the trend line here? Okay, if you look at the trend line, it's, it's on the trend line. So there's no problem. This is completely normal that it is on the trend line right now. It is on the channel. Even the trend line here is pretty much the same thing, right? It is on the trend line. Okay, this was a badly drawn trend line. But if you look at this, okay, if you look at the trend line here, it's constantly gone up, taken support here, gone back up, taken support here. Now the thing is, a lot of people are saying in the market that now if this breaks, if this area breaks, right, and if it goes down, then it can be a slight point of concern, right? This area breaks if this breaks tomorrow. So tomorrow, if it actually goes down, then it would be a nice... Um, sense of concern, right? So tomorrow, Monday, when you look at the stock market, if the stock market goes down drastically, again, one very big red candle happens, then you are in a bit of trouble. But again, but guys, first of all, let me tell you one thing. This was a predictable drop. This four days, you have seen, right? A lot of people are like, oh my God, stock market fell down. I'm so sad. I'm so disappointed. This breakdown was very predictable. Why will I say this is predictable? Because boss from here, okay, where is this? Let me show you something, right? You guys enjoy the ride upwards, but you don't want the ride downwards. 
right? In a few days, in three, four days, the Nifty has gone up by three and a half percent. And if you look at it properly, right, it's not even three and a half percent normally. It's gone on a gap up, gap up, gap up opening, right? If you look at this, constantly first one day positive, two day positive, three day positive, four day gap up positive, five day even better gap up positive, right? Now, itna agya. Right. First of all, if it goes up by five days, you know that there has to be a correction. It was not. It was common sense that a correction has to happen. Arama go open madi, aunty. Arama go open madi. Jorak madi bili. Close madi. Slow agi. Okay. Yeah. So now you know that if it goes up by five days, there has to be a slight correction, right? Slight correction. So when the slight correction happened, obviously it came down, right? And this is completely normal. It's completely okay. Every time it goes up by four, five days, you will see that a small correction happens and this has happened. Now it's still on the trend line. It's still positive here. It's still retracing. But if it goes below this is where you start worrying. If it goes below this, you start worrying. Okay. Now don't worry about this. Yeah, they clear. Yeah, let's go. Screw this. We don't need this anymore. Now, what is very important is Reliance's result. So a lot of people are looking at the Reliance Q2 result. Why? Because Reliance is a very big heavyweight, right? Reliance is a heavyweight when it comes to Sensex and Nifty. So if Reliance goes down on Monday, right, it will be a big problem. Number one, right? If Reliance goes down on Monday, it will pull the entire um, Nifty down as well along with it. So it will become a massive correction. Now, if you look at Reliance's result, Reliance's result was quite positive. Okay, Reliance's result was quite positive. So we can expect that something like this, that the market on Monday can go up. Again, we don't know. We will have to look at the global trends of Dow Jones and how S&P 500 opens. The Dow Jones was also slightly muted, right? It didn't go up. It didn't go down. So we don't know how the market is going to react on Monday. But if it goes up, then it is considered positive. But if it goes down, then it might be a slight issue, is what I'm telling you guys. Okay. So just be aware of. this uh either which way even if it goes down either which way even if it goes down do not panic why because we are in the big diwali sale going on diwali discount sale is going on now let me show you one by one the stocks in the diwali sale quickly okay so if you guys want to make a note of this please make a note of this before we move on to the next segment so now i'm going to show you diwali sale stocks tantana first stock okay are you excited first stock you will see a matter of profit booking okay now whatever stocks i show you right now whatever stocks i show you right now is uh, not a buy recommendation but this is something you should look at from a long period of time if you look at from a futuristic perspective this is good if you tell me shashank i invested today and i want results tomorrow this is not the place to be if you say shashank i have invested today and i want the result after 2 years or 3 years this is good got it so i'm going to show you stocks that are good on a long period of time so after one two years you will thank me today you will not thank me today it might go down even more you will cry also but we are going to wait okay we are going to wait now the first stock someone is just putting it in the chat is avenue supermarkets or also known as dmart avenue supermarkets now by the way everything fell on 19th okay everything fell on this date 19th october was the crash from 19th it all fell down four days in a row beautiful this is discount this is big billion day sale for us right now if you look at the one one month chart let me do one month chart to make it easier where is 19th okay it start this one start falling on 18th only so very good but if you look at 19th let's take 19th from 4991 it's gone down by approximately 10% right and if you look at it from its peak it's gone down by around 17% from its peak even if you don't assume the peak and we'll just take 19th because market was moving up till 19th uh if you take only this as a normal correction it's gone down by 700 around 7 and a half 8% So the first one I would say is Dmart. So please look at this. Keep it in your watch list. Keep it in your portfolio. Actually, what I will do to make it smart with you guys, should I make a small case of all these stocks and just to show you guys how this works, right? Just to show you the impact of discount sale. Okay, it might not happen tomorrow. It might not happen day after. But we will keep doing this, and every weekend research we will look at this. Should I make one quick small case out of this? Let me do that. This is only for educational purposes, right? To show you guys how this works. Okay. Um. One second. Let me just log in, and I'll make one small case and keep it. Okay. So let me make one quick small case for this. Where is it? It's called Create. Let's go to Create, uh, and let's add in the stocks. The first stock is Avenue, D Mart. Okay. Let's call it D Mart. The first stock is D Mart. I'm going to call this uh, Diwali 2021 sale. Okay. Weekend research. Twenty third October. Ideally, hold for long term. Okay. Ideally, hold for long term, right? Let me keep this like this for now. 
okay so the first thing that is there is uh dmart number one massive drop fundamentally nothing's wrong it is just profit booking that's happened in dmart by the way so please remember this uh fundamentally nothing is wrong in this right it's just a profit booking that's happening which is sad but it's okay right it's completely fine okay no issues at all with that next next stock that we will look at let me check what is the next stock oh next stock is my favorite your irctc okay look at irctc now again i'm going to do a one month chart and i'm going to oh beautiful i just love such things a lot of people get scared when they look at a stock like this right a lot of you guys also will get scared look at this are kaisa baap re kaisa gir gaya but for me these type of stocks it just makes my eyes twinkle right this is for me excitement now look at this beautiful drop from 19 26% the most amazing drop i've ever seen in my life 26% drop okay i'm going to straight put this here because i know for a fact kuch nahi hone wala hai irctc ko nothing's going to happen to irctc in the long run right so i'm not worried about it at all why because it is going to be amazing by the way someone's asking again rebalance rebalance i am not going to rebalance anything i'm only putting this for educational purposes this is for me not for any one of you all okay there's no rebalancing this is only to show how long term compounding works is just to keep a track if i would not use small case i would use a money control portfolio to show so there's no rebalance don't come behind me for this okay yes so irctc has gone down by the way there's another news by the way i don't know how many of you all know this but there's a news that has come out where irctc has now said that they will start uh, what is that they will start the catering services again so irctc railways to restart food services in trains earlier irctc used to provide catering services to 2400 uh, trains and after covid or due to covid the catering services business was put to a halt put to a slight halt and now it is come back irctc is again going to start doing the catering business or not catering business but irctc is again going to start doing the catering part and now what will happen tell me if irctc starts catering again what who can predict what is going to happen again if irctc starts catering again everything is going to start going back up right so let me show you this let me show you where what i'm talking about look at this hot food in trains again railways mulling to resume pantry state services after 18 month hiatus details in deets inside india.com is uh, quite uh, futuristic when it with the slang right this was 6 hours ago this article came out so they're basically going to re resume their catering businesses um, revenue now that means the revenue is going to come out catering business revenue is going to come out number 1 but i'll come to this in more detail in the connecting the dots segment because i'm going to talk about this in specific in the connecting the dots part right got it paisa hi paisa yes but abhi nahi aayega whatever money that comes now kabhi aayega march ka result pe aayega not now right uh, so whatever comes right now it's october november december december ka result will come little bit later in jan feb tabhi you will see suddenly increase and now you know for a fact that it's because train ka paisa zyada ho gaya like the food is coming back uh, but again i'll come to that part in the second segment this is stock number 2 stock number 3 is some other industry which is called consistent compounder industry which is called pie industries have you heard of pie industries now pie industries in the last uh, 2019 drop uh, sorry october 19 drop is approximately one second october 19 se drop hua to around 9% let's assume 9% right so pie industries has gone down approximately by 9% from october 19 so this is also currently at a slight discount pie industries why i like pie industries i'll show you why because if you do max chart look at this this is the stock i like this looks like my sensex stock right this is why i like pie industries because this goes up like sensex peacefully look at this by the way max chart every term every segment 2011 to 2013 profit 2013 to 2015 profit 2015 to 2017 profit 2017 to 2019 profit 2019 to 2021 profit every part every year consistently it has given profit consistent compounder now if i zoom out this chart and see something in the future obviously this will be interesting right so again this is again a consistent compounder every quarter it's given results i'm assuming it will continue to do so nothing fundamentally wrong but now it has dipped it has gone down this is like this dip right ye dip pe kharida hota si how much money you would have made 150% then you would have been like no shashank this dip is also there it fell here okay you bought it here again you would have made 42% now this dip is here if i can enhance my screen and see the future there will be another profitability there so again for that i'm making this small case we will check this out okay this is diwali sale going on stock number 3 is pie industries in the fertilizer space okay slightly cyclical 
then we have uh, another of my universe stock which is dixon technologies dixon technologies doing really well right now because of the boost that it's getting with the new deals that it's getting number one new deals are coming across number two they're also getting a lot of um, pli scheme incentives so dixon technology also very interesting so look at the drop from 19th october 16 percent drop again massive discount uh if you go back to the max chart look at this there's been drops and it's gone up right again there's a drop it'll go up again there's a drop it goes up overall it's gone up if you look at it from a five-year perspective it's gone up assuming no covid assuming let's ignore these two years if you only look at these three years in the last three in the from 17 to 19 also it's given a profitable curve right and now it's doing abhi iska time aage, you know that people say apna time aega abhi iska time aage, where it's starting to go up so dixon is nice discount chalu hai discount mein diwali sale pe chalu hai this grab it as fast as you can wala 15 percent off pe chal raha hai Dix dixon technologies kharid lo kharid lo okay so let me just put this also again this is only for educational purposes it's not a recommendation to buy or sell just being safe uh then we have another one which is slightly good in the small capish space navin florine okay now navin florine is a very good company why because it has an economic moat uh slightly under a monopoly way uh slightly under monopoly also now if you look at this let me do the one 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 chart again look at this from october 19th boom it's gone down by around 15 percent right again gone down by around 16 percent so Naveen Florine is very good for the long term. Again, it's consistent compounder. It'll do really well. Um, it'll keep going up. If you look at it from the last one year also, it's gone up. If you look at the max chart also, if you see it's a consistent compounder over a long period of time. And now they're doing really well. So please, please, buy. this is something that you should keep in track. It's at 15% discount. Somebody is asking for cheap stocks. What is cheap stocks, guys? Uh, tell me what is cheap stocks you want. Someone saying I want under 1000 rupees. Uh, there are one or two stocks that are under 1000 rupees, but the good stocks you will not get so easily at 1000 rupees. Everything was under 1000, then kya hota, right? It would be very easy. Uh, but either way, let's look at it one by one. There are a few stocks, so aate uspe. one by one, aate, right? Uh, again, these are very good for long term. Again, I'm saying these are very good for long term. So please look at it from that perspective. Cool. The next stock that we will look at is the Deepak Nitrite. You know Deepak Nitrite, we have spoken about it. Let me add it here already first. Okay, I'm just going to show you Deepak. Deepak, again, nice correction. Very beautiful correction. Again, slightly expensive, 2400. But look at this correction. 17% off on Deepak Nitrite right now. Beautiful discount is going on. 17% off on Deepak Nitrite. Nothing wrong fundamentally. It's beautiful fundamentally. So everything's fine. This is something that you should, again, definitely keep in your radar. 17% off on Deepak Nitrite, right? Next, we have our consistent compounder, major consistent compounder which is asian paints you might have heard of asian paints now asian paints may the the problem is it has been consistently falling in the last one month if you look at the last one month it's gone down by around 10 to 15 percent why is that so uh if you are following ish mohit and if you see his twitter he had mentioned that because of cost push inflation because of inflation coming into the picture the margins of asian paints have actually gone down but margins of asian paints have actually gone down but from a long-term perspective there is no problem with asian paints right from a long-term perspective there's no problem with asian paints if you look at it from a max chart perspective asian paints is like look at this it's like the sensex consistent compounder every every term there's a compounder no issues at all right so if this dip is here this is a small dip like how it happened here again it went up again there's a small dip again it'll go up so now it is at 17 percent off so you can go pick it up quite quite quickly right now this is asian paints right now so let me just add asian paints here as well this, by the way are you seeing how many of these stocks are so fundamentally strong and each of them are at 15 percent discount Right? This is something that you will not get so easily. Uh, okay, so some people wanted to know less than 1000 rupees stock. Chalo, dikha ta less than 1000 rupees stock. Loris Labs, 536 rupees. Very cheap for everyone to buy right now. Right, For all the people who are asking 1000 rupees and below. Um, we are currently at 536. Let's look at the, not financials, let's look at the chart. One month chart pe aata hu. Right, look at this. One month chart, it has gone down by 18% and in the last one month, it's gone down by 14, but it's gone down by 18%. Now, there are multiple factors. So, if you have attended the con call of Loris Labs, so two things have happened in Loris Labs. Okay, why has it gone down? Two things have happened. Raw material cost has gone up. Okay, if raw material cost goes up, what happens? Your EBITDA goes down, right? Your expenses increases, your raw material cost gone down, your EBITDA goes down, your net income goes down, and your EPS goes down. So this is something that has happened. Why? Because Loris Labs is considered to be a fast-moving, fast-growth company. So there is a slight dip because raw material cost has gone down, gone uh, up in the con call reports. Number two, and very important, guys, listen to this very carefully. 
Loris Labs is doing a massive, massive investment. Okay, Loris Labs is doing a massive investment in CapEx. Okay, it's doing a very, very, very big CapEx. So that means it's putting most of its money back into manufacturing plant. And this manufacturing plant won't be operational until next year. Until actually not next year, until Q2 2022, it won't be operational. Until then, I think Loris will not move a lot till then, right? Loris might not move until Q2 2022. But after Q2 2022, you will see a massive jump, massive jump in Loris. Right? So this is something you should definitely keep an eye on. Uh, it might consolidate now. So it is good for if, if it's consolidating now, it is good to average in right now. So please look at it from that perspective. Okay, so this is very nice. Let me add this also. This is a stock that is under 1000 rupees. It might not move now, but it will definitely move after Q2 2022. So you can keep in your eyes, uh, keep in your radar as well. Next, then we have uh, two more quick stocks. Okay, Polycab. Have you seen, have you heard of Polycap consistent compounder? Again, let me do max chart consistent compounding constantly, right? Over a long period of time, it has given returns. But in the last one month, again, look at this inflation is really killing a lot of people. This is also down by around 12 and a half points. So Polycap has gone down Polycap. You might have heard of Polycap everywhere in ads, uh, Polycap wires. Again, fundamentally, we have done a proper review on Polycap. So this is fundamentally very, very strong. Um, then we have another stock that we did recently, which I'm also tracking right now is HLE glass coat. Have you guys heard this is very expensive by the way, it's 6,000 rupees, 6,600. But again, this is a very good stock to keep in your radar, right? If you look at it from the last one month, it's not gone down so much, but it's gone down by around 10%. Why? Because it went up also, but in the last 19th se leke abhi tak, it's gone down by 7%. So this is something that you can keep if you want, if you don't want, you can ignore this, right? It's, it's up to you. But actually glass coat is also something that looks very interesting right now, especially in the COVID time. Um, it looks much more interesting from that perspective. Okay. Now, Another stock that we will look at next is, uh, okay, nice. Look at MCX. Have you seen MCX? For all the people who want thousand below stocks, I'll tell you what you can buy, right? uh, no, what you can check, not buy. MCX has gone down again, right? In the last one month, look at this. Uh, from 18, 19, it's gone down by 10%. So MCX is something that's at a nice discount right now. MCX ka future is very, very, very bright. Why is MCX future very bright? Because now options and trading has, is going to start in commodity exchanges and in power exchanges. So MCX has a very, very, very bright future coming up in the future. Then we have one more, which is doing really well. Jubilant Foodworks. Now Jubilant Foodworks actually fell because people expected slightly more growth in their, uh, uh, in the results, but it slightly was less. But if you look at it, it's fallen around 15% right now. Jubilant Foodworks from 19, it's fallen on by 15%. But again, if you look at Jubilant Foodworks from a long-term perspective, it's like a Sensex chart, right? It's a long-term consistent compounder, good revenues over a long period of time. So Jubilant Foodworks is something that you can add as well. J U B L. By the way, Jubilant Foodworks owns this company called Domino's. For a lot of people who don't know, Jubilant Foodworks is a company uh, that is owned by Domino's. Okay, so please understand. Domino's ka parent company is Jubilant food works next final company is info edge have you heard of info edge do you know which company owns in what is info edge naukri.com have you heard right info edge has also gone down quite drastically look at this massive dip 14 percent dip in info edge uh info edge is the parent company of naukri.com they also had a lot they also have a lot of stake in different startups so this is something that you can definitely keep an eye on got it now for all the people who are looking at uh, 1000 rupees ke below wala stocks, a lot of people were saying for that, if you're looking at from a future perspective, futuristic perspective and 1000 rupees below, then the first stock I would, I'm strongly bullish on is IEX. Now, if you look at IEX, obviously it hasn't fallen that much. It's fallen from around 17% right now, but also this was a massive jump. IEX has also announced a bonus. So I recently loaded up on more of IEX. Uh, IEX has recently announced a bonus of two is to one bonus. What is two is to one bonus for every two shares for every one share, you will get two free shares from IEX. Okay. So you'll get two shares for every one share that is there. So IEX is something that you can definitely keep under thousand rupees. So a lot of people are asking for under thousand rupees. Yeah, they close very good in your uh, portfolio, right? But this I'm closing this because IEX is not a part of my thing. So I'm just going to close this right now. I'm just going to do save draft. By the way, this is all beaten down stocks by 15%. Let me just do equi weighted. Uh, 
yeah let me just do equivated all of these stocks by the way are all beaten down by 15% stocks so look at this how they've gone down right boom it's gone down quite drastically so i'm going to save this draft and we'll see what will happen later on okay we'll see slowly what happens later on in this perspective next um, okay some other stock you want you can look at uh, yeah apl apollo is also beautiful look at apl apollo right this is also a very good stock if you look at it uh, from a consistent compounder perspective very good under 1000 rupees a very strong company from a fundamental perspective um, if you look at the last one month it has gone down anyway it's gone down right if you look at it from the last one month perspective but i would say from a long term perspective apl apollo is a good bet to buy uh, if you are thinking about looking at apl apollo right mastech is not in the thousand space mastech is good i i mastech is different i don't recommend you guys to buy mastech because there's slightly uh, a risk element in mastech which is slightly expensive uh, what about radico khaitan radico khaitan just about thousand very good stock fundamentally strong uh, doing really well right now winning market share having monopoly moats okay doing really well over a long period of time again in the thousand space just just got 1000 ka enjoyment hai. it's been consolidating it's not moving much so you can actually pick up because the next rally will be something interesting okay now all of this relieve it right now you understood basically these are the stocks that are there yeah acrisil also but i don't think acrisil fell uh, too much let's check acrisil also is a very bullish stock for the next few years uh, if you look at acrisil especially with the building boom that's happening right now let's check acrisil's Acrisil has been falling consistently, so that is why I didn't put it here. But again, Acrisil is something that you can keep in your radar because it is something that started doing really well right now. It was not a consistent compounder before, but this is something that will do really well. Also, if people have the budget, look at this company, Divis Labs, Divis Laboratories. It is do it is going to do phenomenally well in the next few years. Okay, this will do phenomenally well in the ne next few years. Astral, yes, Astral also very good. Boss, Astral is also very good. Astral is also, but all of these are about thousand. Now, kya ho raha, boss? The problem is in the bull market, everything's gone up, so most of the stocks are about thousand, right? It's all gone to two thousand, three thousand. Even if you look at Tata LXC, uh, tech stocks will not usually fall. See Tata LXC, guys. We were tracking it at four thousand levels, and now it is six thousand levels. Can you believe that? We were tracking at four thousand. Now it is at six thousand. So this is something you should definitely keep an eye out for, right? Again, if you look at it, it's fallen by around seven percent, but it's also gone up by the same amount, right? So you can pick it up, but it actually recovered in the last in the last session, last trading session itself. So from that perspective, this is very nice. Now, let me come to something known as connecting the dots special. Are you guys ready for connecting the dots special? And by the way, we have around thousand people watching right now. I don't see the likes going up, so please click on the likes, and I will show you a connecting the dots special that you can take advantage today that will actually give you nice wealth in the future. Okay, are you ready for that? Are you ready for connecting the dots session? Let me get that ready for you guys. Connecting the dots session, करते हैं, right? Okay. If you guys are ready, we'll start connecting the dots session because it's it's quite interesting. It's quite beautiful. Uh, I'll show you what the connecting the dots thing is also, right? very 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 interesting by the way this was again brought to me by devjani so you should bloody thank her a lot by the way we hit 1000 viewers uh, you should definitely thank devjani for this because she keeps doing some insane amount of research uh, regarding this right one second okay so now do you guys know what is happening right now what season we're living in let me ask you this question Do you guys know what season we're living in right now? We are in the Diwali season. Okay, we're kind of doing the connecting the dots special right now, guys. So we're doing connecting the dots. Currently, we're in the Diwali season, number one, right? What is happening in this season? Have you observed or have you seen a few people or your friends? A lot of people are traveling a lot. Have you seen a lot of people traveling in Diwali? Right, a lot of people are traveling in Diwali. If you have ever gone to uh, the airport, I recently went to Mumbai, and if you go to the airport. Boss, the airport is packed right now. Packed, packed, packed. Right? There is so many people traveling right now. Why for Diwali? Everyone's traveling and migrating for Diwali, right? Now, when I'm traveling to Diwali, do I care about the cost? No, I'm going to stay with my parents. I'm going to meet my parents. So I'm not going to care about the cost. So there is a lot of traveling happened due to Diwali. Diwali. Number one. Number two. Do you guys know? Okay, look at this article. Do you guys know that all the air travel costs okay all the air fare okay your flight tickets okay the prices of your flight tickets have gone up 
by 30 to 45 percent why because the demand has gone up right so your flight ticket ka cost has gone up number one okay your flight ticket costs have gone up by 30 to 45 percent on high frequency routes what is high frequency routes your delhi to bombay uh, bangalore to delhi uh, kolkata to delhi bombay to bangalore all the tier one city routes the air cost has gone up now again just think about this okay travel has gone up so basically from diwali to december there's going to be a lot of travel do you agree or not right diwali say like december tak there's going to be a lot of travel yes or no do you guys agree on this so if diwali to december there's going to be a lot of travel and especially flight travel what are the cheapest flights right now people only are going to look at cheap flights right either air india right air india but it's not very cheap but the other stocks okay let's do this let's let's do this live okay i'm just going to go to skyscanner.com i'm just going to do a high ticket uh, flight right bombay to delhi uh, let's say i want to depart on not not even a weekday let me do week weekday not a weekend okay november 1st one way ticket let me do okay let me see what are the cheapest flights that come out instantly right this is how you do fundamental analysis and this is how you check out uh, research okay so i am looking at this i am going to the clicking clicking on the cheapest one now what are the cheapest ones here the cheapest one that i can see right now is air india 5400 on a high ticket flight and this is the early morning flight air india is number one now sadly air india is not listed right air india is not listed but apart from air india the next one is go air right look at this lot of go air flights bombay to delhi go air flights air asia go air indigo all these flights indigo keep coming over indigo is slightly expensive but it's all the same cost 5900 hai either be all 5900 right so the cheapest right now is air india so can i assume that air india is going to take a lot of uh, the tickets out lot of the tickets will go to air india number 1 and the second will go to maybe your indigo or go air correct either which way these guys are operating at 30 to 40% more than what they were operating in the previous in before diwali right before diwali they were 30% lower now they have actually gone up because the last november daily traffic was less than 50% in pre now it has increased to 70 to 75% and why by the way why has this happened also abhi rt pcr is not compulsory right if i want to travel from one city to another i can go without rt pcr right now i need double vaccination certificate and i'm done i can go so understand this lot of traveling is happening and air tickets are going up 30 to 45% abhi ho raha so this is happening in october it will happen in november it will happen in december when will the result come out when will this revenue be attributed to the result when the december quarter result comes out when will the december quarter result come out either in jan or either in feb yes or no do you agree with me either in jan or either in feb now if the results will come out in jan or feb won't the results show a slight increase in revenue right why because 40 to 50, 30 to 45% increase in in air sale tickets lot of traffic is going up obviously that quarterly revenue will look good and if the revenue looks good then it might go up then if it goes up and the result comes out and suddenly this quarter to last quarter result looks so big what is going to happen to the stock q3 result okay, what will happen to the stock stock might go up right now lot of people don't even know about this article me and you know about this article but lot of people don't know about this article abhi se leke new year tak traveling hoga okay abhi se leke new year tak traveling hoga and we know for a fact that q3 is result for this will do well this is connecting the dots one but iske sath there is one more connecting the dots do you know what is one more connecting the dots let me tell you the alternate theory to this if the air prices have gone up by 30 to 45% and it's become expensive okay all the people who can't afford all the people who can't afford flight tickets what will they use guys what will they use think about this all the people who can't afford flight tickets what will they use right there's another means what will they use they will use train or bus right either train or bus but from long journey they will use train okay now if you use trains now just just imagine this right october to december lot of people who cannot travel by air air to they traveling enough demand on the air fare air to they traveling but lot of people will now start traveling through trains right now if you start traveling through trains 
and and if the trains start delivering food services right now and obviously if the trains are delivering food services in especially in corona virus i would trust irctc and not some local vendor coming and saying bhaji pav le lo samosa le lo chai le lo right i will trust irctc coming with nice packaging right nice packaging so my irctc catering sales can go up my irctc ctc ticket sales will go up the platform sales will go up so either which way from this right from december from from sorry from october to december the travel is going to be a big industry okay so if travel is a big industry airplane companies are going to do well so your interglobe aviation might do well your irctc's result might do really well okay these two results sadly there's no bus company right now that we can check but these two will do really well right now understand this when when you look at diwali okay lot of people will be like tourism is going up chalo hotel stocks bhi kharidte but when you're doing diwali people are not traveling to different cities to stay in a hotel right in fact people are traveling to different cities so that they can stay at home so if i go back to bombay i'll stay at home i will not go stay in uh, a hotel right so that is slightly different but november december right towards new year is when everyone travels for vacation in india because kaam thoda kam hai december time hai vacation karenge let's go that so demand is going to go up during november december right already people are booking different hotels right now november december hotel stocks all of their uh, revenue will start going up right all these you have to observe you have to just observe i am seeing so many of my friends going to airports and showing that it is completely full i went to mumbai airport it is packed it is so packed right now i know for a fact that there is a massive demand coming up and nobody is looking at it now someone asked me if this is public information why is the stock not gone up because this is not exciting and people don't know how to connect the dots there are some smart people who would have connected and bought it right but not everyone understands the same way right but if there's a news article that says buy aeroplane stocks now because of this then everyone will buy correct now look at this from that perspective okay so if you're looking at say irctc i already showed you if you had to look at interglobe aviation okay if you had to look at interglobe aviation let's look at their one month chart look at this constant down and if you look at their poor one one year chart let's look at their one year chart right it's here it's not moved much but i can expect that there will be a slight movement coming up by q3 result later now you understood how connecting the dots ke andar there was another connecting the dots there were double connecting the dots because aeroplane costs have gone up great everyone's happy aeroplane costs have gone up we also checked instantly that air india is going to take most of the revenue here and the second is going to be indigo or goair right now either indigo or goair is going to be number 2 but most of it and this is a prime route the other route here is kolkata to uh, delhi right kolkata delhi is also a very important route in india so if you look at this again look at this air india is always taking number 1 so most of the tickets will go to air india why not and the second flight is indigo and vistara vistara slightly usually more expensive so indigo people usually prefer right looking at this how you connect the dots and how you take advantage of such situations is very important when it comes to the stock market understood so this is why i keep saying right it is very 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 important to look at news and not just shut your eyes it's to look at news and then try to connect the dots and see ye kya hoga wo kya hoga kuch to hai iske andar and let me do something like this sorry i forgot vrl my bad we'll look at vrl as well but again majority of the people when you're doing travel which is long term travel from some say kolkata to delhi or if you want to do bombay to delhi uh you will not take a bus you will take a train right so most of the travel i believe is going to be on flight and train right and if most of the travel is going to be on flight and train arm yourselves and be ready with this because this is something that is going to happen okay so we will look at this slightly later got it awesome do you guys understand did you guys understand the connecting the dots session mind blowing right you should always look at news and try to look at it from this perspective not just from a straight up perspective okay ha <sighs> awesome chalo now we'll come to the final segment of our entire session the final segment is weekend research i will take one stock from the audience so you can start spamming it uh so we will take one stock from the audience and then we will do a proper research on this till then i think i realized i just didn't log in to my zero da let me just log in why waste a pro account okay chalo now you guys start asking me a question i will put four questions for the community your community will decide and then we will do a quick research and i will show you for all the people who have joined for the first time i will show you how to do fundamental analysis of a particular stock complete end to end okay so put whatever industries you want put whatever companies you want and we will take it 
um by the time you put your companies just to give you guys a, a brief understanding uh this is a weekend research uh, segment by the way we have this pledge that whatever revenue that this video makes over its period of time i will be donating it to uh, sponsor one child's education so just to give you guys an idea about that um so whatever revenue this makes whether it's super chat whether it's youtube youtube will pay me i will give it to um uh, an ngo which will uh, actually help with some one child's education is our goal in this year so we can do our small bit also right okay a lot of people are spamming left right center alkyl amines amino industry is very heavily dependent of, by the way amino industry is very heavily dependent on the raw material so be careful about that deepak nitride we have already done info beans also it's done in the past sessions um okay Sona BLW we did last week only, just last week. Adani Ports boss, it's very weird. Okay, let me let me. I found a few ones. Okay, I'm putting down one. Polycap also we did last week. Okay, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. Polycap last week only we did guys. Afil also we have finished. Amrutanjan also we have finished. Uh, Afil we said we will not do. Amrutanjan we said is a positive. Afil is neutral. We don't know whether it's good or bad. Uh, okay, this is also interesting. Did we do Bansali engineering? I'm not sure. Not sure if we did Bansali engineering, but let's try. Okay. you guys what i will do the research you guys what i will do the research Okay, everyone saying RT drugs. Majority are saying RT drugs. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. There's 300 votes. There's thousand people watching. There's 500 likes. Come on, guys, click on the like button. Click on the subscribe button. नहीं तो मजा नहीं आएगा. GMM Florida we did exactly last week. Last week's weekend research. देखो, GMM Florida is there. Exactly last week we did a weekend research. GMM Florida we have done there. Paras uh, Defense is a good company. Yeah. uh it's an ipo right i'll have to do a drhp review i can't do a fundamental analysis review like this i'll have to do a drhp review but we'll do one thing next week let's do a paras ipo review paras defense ipo actually uh, devjani do you want to do a paras uh, review on on the scenes app maybe some day paras defense ka review we can do it on our app we have a so all the people who are here for the first time we have a community called avlon scenes where we discuss about the stock market um uh, the link is in the description below it's called join my finance community so go there and join it we do sessions monday wednesday friday and we talk about different things over there right okay so most of you guys are voting for arti drugs so i think i'm just going to take arti drugs for today is that okay everyone's taken arti drugs majority have taken arti drugs 39% is arti drugs can't help it i will listen to the community the community says arti drugs we will do arti drugs guys ओके चलो लेट्स लुक एट आरती ड्रग्स बाय द वे आरती ड्रग्स इज अ वेरी गुड कंसिस्टेंट कंपाउंडर आई डोंट हैव टू टेल यू टू मच अबाउट इट नाउ वेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग आरती हैज मल्टीपल कंपनीज ओके जस्ट टू मेक यू गाइस अंडरस्टैंड लेट मी ओपन आरती ड्रग्स एवरीवेयर आरती हैज मल्टीपल कंपनीज ओके दिस इज द ट्रेंड ऑफ आरती राइट नाउ लेट मी रिमूव ऑल दिस माय पैरामीटर्स वन सेकंड let me go back to a monthly chart <laughs> okay this is during covid boom 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 april march this is when all the pharmaceutical stocks started shooting up right uh, so okay aarti mein there are two three different stocks let me close all of this yeah so aarti company let me show you. 
So the main company is basically called Arthi Industries Limited. Okay, Arthi Industries is a company that is diversified into multiple different things, right? So if you look at their business, they're into chemicals, they're into pharmaceuticals. Uh, they have multiple different uh, areas. Now, what they did very smart, okay, very smart. What they did very early on in the past is Arthi. Uh, the main reason why a lot of people did R want to understand about Arthi drugs. First of all, Arthi has is a very very smart company. I think it's run by a Gogri. Uh, I think the founder's name is Gogri, if I'm not wrong, right? Let me tell you this, because I did a lot of research on Arthi drugs. One of their companies I did a lot of research on, which was Arthi Surfactants, and I'll come to that as well. Uh, usually, the show management team here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Rakesh Gogri, Ra Rashish Gogri, Chandrakant Gogri. This guy is the main guy, Chairman Emeritus. Yeah, so Chandrakant Gogri is the main guy. Very, very, very smart businessman. Very, very, very good businessman. And I'll tell you what they have done. Very smart is basically Arthi Industries. Okay, whenever they felt that there is a business that is very interesting. By the way, it's a company that is run by a lot of brothers. Okay, it is a company that is run by a lot of brothers. So each of the brothers have a different management team, right? So Arthi Industries has different companies that they have demerged. What is demerged? It is like one big company, and then they slowly take out some parts and make a separate company out of each of them and list them in the share market. Now you will ask this question: Why can't everything be in the same thing? Why do they have to demerge? The reason why companies demerge and list separately on the stock market is mainly because to unlock value for that particular company. So that if if some good result comes out, that stock will go up a lot. For example, Reliance is planning to come with their IPO for Reliance Retail. Reliance Geo ko bhi IPO karenge. Reliance Retail will also come with an IPO. So Bajaj also has two three different companies. Tata has four five different companies uh, listed. Everything can be under one group, right? Why is it in different companies? So the reason why they do different companies because each of them can unlock their own value. Each of them can go raise money for their own company. If something is bad and something is good, it will not impact the overall structure, right? So for example, I'll tell you what happens if if uh, say for example in Reliance, if the petrochemical business did well but Geo did bad, right? So average, if you look at it, if, if petrochemical went up by ten percent and Geo went down by ten percent, then the result will look so bad. Reliance stock will not move at all. But if I do Reliance. Petrochemical different and Geo different. Now, if Geo's result goes down, it'll go up, go down, and if this one goes up, it'll go up. So it is all unlocked separately, right? So that is why it is very interesting. Uh, this is why it's very interesting. Okay, so that is why you should always look at this. So Arthi Drugs is the same thing. They were in the chemical space, pharmaceutical space, and they started diversifying right now. Okay, they started diversifying right now. So they have. Uh, so what all do they have right now? Let's look at this. Arthi Drugs. Arthi Industries, Arthi Surfactants. These are the three companies that they currently have right now, and they give nice bonuses, huh? Nice dividends, nice bonuses. So if you look at Arthi Drugs, Arthi Drugs is at 609, Arthi Industries are at 1000, and Arthi Surfactants at 1300. Now let's look at one by one. Let's look at Arthi Group's financials as a whole. Now if you look at this, let me do max chart. Okay, look at this max chart. Does this chart look very interesting to me and you? Chalo, you guys tell me. Does this chart look very interesting? For all the people who are here for the first time, I'm going to show you how to do fundamental analysis. Okay, we like consistent compounders. We don't like something that has shot up like this, right? Yeh dekho. This is not sustainable because if it goes up like this, it will come down also the same way. So from its peak, it has come down also the same way, right? Uh, this is not a even though it has given returns every year, say from one rupee, four rupee, eight rupees or whatever, it has consistently gone up, but it is. Massive, massive uh, jump here. Okay, so let's understand why this has happened. Someone was asking, need your opinion on Apple India. We have made a separate video on Apple India. Our opinion was not to not to buy, to wait for two more quarters and see what happens with Apple India. That was our take. Okay, let's look at their current market cap is five thousand six hundred crores. So small cap area me aata. The P ratio is twenty. Sector P is thirty eight. So they're actually underperforming the sector right now, even in a bull market. Okay, but let's look at their financials. Maybe there's something there in the financials, right? Now financials we want very simple revenue should keep growing, EBITDA should keep growing, and your net income should keep growing, your EPS should keep growing. That is what we like. Now if you look at this stock, let's go back and see why why this stock. Let me first check why this shot up so much, right? Let me go back to Max chart. Two thousand nineteen thirty two rupees, and then it just went flying like there is no tomorrow. And by the way, before two thousand nineteen also it was giving good returns. It was not like not giving good returns, but it was not moving very well. Let's look at the returns. Nine seventy two, one zero nine seven, one one three nine, one one nine nine, one two nine, one five. Good growth, 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 growth. Okay, consistent growth, 
कंसिस्टेंट एबिटा ग्रोथ ऑल्सो आई कैन विटनेस राइट कंसिस्टेंट एबिटा ग्रोथ कंसिस्टेंट नेट इनकम ग्रोथ एक्सेप्ट फॉर दिस ईयर स्लाइड डी स्लाइड डी ग्रोथ बट इट्स ओके गुड नेट इनकम ग्रोथ गुड ई पी एस ग्रोथ ओवर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम येस गुड डिविडेंड पर शेयर ऑल्सो सो फ्रॉम अ फंडामेंटल परस्पेक्टिव और फ्रॉम अ फाइनेंशियल परस्पेक्टिव दिस लुक्स गुड ओके आई एम ओनली डूइंग फंडामेंटल नाउ ओके नॉ लेट्स लुक एट दर बैलेंस शीट एंड सी वॉट इफ दे हैव एनी कैंड ऑफ लोन्स और लाइबिलिटीज लेट्स लुक एट दर करंट लाइबिलिटीज लॉन्ग टर्म डेट हैज एक्चुअली गॉन डाउन फ्रॉम टू हंड्रेड क्रोर्स टू वन फिफ्टी वन क्रोर्स सो स्लाइटली गोइंग डाउन विच इज ऑल्सो अ गुड साइन एंड लेट्स लुक एट दर कैश लो बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक कैश लो इज यूजलेस कैश लो इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कैश लो वी लुक एट टू थिंग्स केपेक्स विच इज कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर एंड फ्री कैश लो सो दे हैव कंसिस्टेंट की फ्री कैश लो इन द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स एंड डूइंग केपेक्स ऑल्सो एंड देव बॉट अ लॉट ऑफ इन्वेंट्री राइट नाउ ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो समथिंग दैट लुक्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नेक्स्ट वी विल गो लुक एट देर इन्वेस्टर प्रेजेंटेशन Why do we look at investor presentation? Why? Because we have to learn investor presentations, right? Now, investor presentation is where you get the major idea. Ki kya chal raha hai, boss? Okay, what is the future? And then there is one more website we will go and do more research. Now, if you look at investor presentation, this is Arthi Drugs. What do they do? They are planning to become the first choice vendor of bulk drugs and achieve a leadership position. Bulk drugs is a specific segment in Arthi, which is. Uh, again very important to understand so bulk drugs is something that they're looking at to become number one in the bulk drug space there's a lot of different sectors in in let's say for example in the pharmaceutical space there's specialty chemicals there's bulk drugs there's api there's too many complicated things but this guy is in the bulk now the main look at this this is the entire group of board okay and the gogri family is very instrumental in this entire business number one now if you look at the key key milestones okay listed in 1993 1996 they did a amalgamation with a lot of subsidiary companies nsc in 2003 uh 2015 2014 they crossed 100000 crores turnover then they crossed 100 crores profit before tax pbt's profit before tax uh thank you aditya for that generous donation uh, this is very helpful very 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 helpful uh crossed 2000 crores turnover it's consistently going up from a key milestone perspective now this is interesting they have 12 manufacturing facilities okay 3975 million tons monthly api capacity is also there they have 80 finished products okay these are interesting and 37% is export revenue 37% export revenue in fact i thought it would be much more uh, but it's not that big right so it's okay then if you look at this this is very important why because we need to understand whether this company has a monopoly or not so if you look at it from a monopoly perspective it is the largest producer nimulsified in india largest producer of keto konzol largest producer met i i i'm so glad i took finance i'm so glad i can't even pronounce these words properly tini dazol jo bhi hai ek aur largest producer one more largest producer of metformin and largest producer of metrozinol okay so glad i took finance <laughs> okay so basically what do they do Okay so this is what we talk about drugs and pharmaceutical companies this is what they do they have api business they have formulation and they have specialty chemicals and they have intermediaries also uh, ishmoit has done a beautiful uh, ishmoit has done a very good entire presentation on this sector and he talks about each stage right now if you look at api which is active pharmaceutical ingredients that goes into a particular product right by the way this is arthi drugs for all the people who have just joined uh formulation is also there which is very important which is making this and then the specialty chemicals with something that deepak nitrate also deals in intermediaries which are required to make something right so these are all the three things that they are currently in right now but for us main thing is to understand paisa kidhar se aa raha hai right we are if you have to think like an investment banker right when you look at an investor presentation you have to link, think as investment banker yes you are in three segments paisa kidhar hai right i want to see where the money is because i don't care about three segments if you are at 5% and you are at 95% i only care about you not this guy so we need to see what is happening now if you look at this it's clearly written here api part of arthi drugs okay api part of arthi drug contributes to 80% of revenues 80% of revenues matlab ye do mila ke 20% hai this is 80% that means safe to say that this is most important for me right now currently this is most important for me right now right api nine manufacturing units 47000 million tons in per annum installed capacity largest manufacturer of three molecules in the world that means they have monopoly in good moat around them very good leading api producer of 50 plus molecules very good so why do we see all this because long term ke liye we should not be like some some new company has come and destroyed them and taken over right so we need to be focused on our companies then if you look at this formulation and specialty chemical is 20% even this is good 20% is not bad at all and if you look at this there are they're doing more more capex more capex means there are in putting more plants 
Now, if they're putting more plants, why is it good? Because if they're putting more plants, then it's good because that means revenue will come in the future. Look at the revenue breakup. 77% API, formulation is 15%. Okay, formulation is 15%. And your specialty chemicals was 3%. So if it's 3%, why are you putting up two more manufacturing units? Shouldn't you put more here? That means something else is brewing over here. So we need to look at what is happening. Antibiotic is 43% of their revenue, by the way. Look at this. Antibiotic is 43% of their revenue. Uh, this is where they currently have their manufacturing facilities. It is predominantly um, in the Mumbai, Gujarat region. And there's one up north as well. So very interesting. Totally how much they've installed, how much their production is. And look at how the net production is increased over time. That means they're doing constant capex. They're increasing that. What is capex? Capex is capital expenditure. Okay, a capital expenditure means they are putting more money into building manufacturing plants and manufacturing plants will go up. Okay, someone saying, why didn't you put DMART in today's list? DMART was the first company I put in today's list. The first company was DMART, right? All this we don't need to check. This is all fine where the revenues are coming from. So it is quite diversified. 51% is Asia. Actually, this is not very good because 58% is Asia, right? Most of the money is coming from Asia. Out of the 37% exports, 58% is coming from Asia. So that is what we have to look at. ESG, I am not looking at it too much. Now, this is important. Look at the clients that they have. Okay, look at the clients that they have. Guys, are you watching the clients? Most of them are listed companies. I think Ishmoy did a recent video on Indoco, Indoco Remedies, right? I have invested in Copran. Uh, Sanofi is there, Zydus Kadila is there, Alchem Labs, Abbott, Mankind, Sun Pharma, Pfizer, all of these are listed, most of the Cipla, most of them listed companies and more importantly, most of them are very strong clients, right? Very strong clients giving them big orders and they will not go to anyone else and they will not go bankrupt also, Torrent Pharma is also there. So these are all very important, right? So we need to understand who the clients are because clients are a very big aspect of your revenue that is coming into the business. So this looks very good. Corporate social responsibility is fine. Uh, industry, I know for a fact, API industry is growing a lot in India. So this industry is good. So don't worry about the industry. Major export destinations in, look at this, major export destinations in Indian pharma export was North America. And we are currently in Asia right now. We are not even entered, not, we are in Asian region right now. We have not gone to North America. So if we go to North America, it will be very interesting for us. Right now, look at another thing. Indian pharmaceutical is divided into four segments. One is API, what we're seeing right now. One is CRAMS. One is formulations and one is biosimilars. Biosimilars is nothing but uh, it's it's like your generics, right? Generic uh, API. So if you have a drug like Crocin, you're making another paracetamol like a bio. It's, it's not the same drug, but it's similar to that drug. So it's called biosimilar from that perspective. CRAMS is ma mainly into contract research manufacturing. Okay. So and then formulations and we have APIs, which is what we're looking at right now. Now India ex imports 60% of its APIs from other countries. So if India becomes a massive hub of API, then this will be very interesting. Okay. Uh, all this is fine. PLI scheme, how RT will benefit from the PLI scheme. It's received approval for two methyl five nitro. So glad I didn't take chemistry with a committed production capacity of 4,000 million tons investment outlay 78,000 crores capex expecting 80 crores of incentives over six years. Basically what they're saying is KPI scheme mein in log aja hai aur KPI scheme mein in log ko advantage milta hai, which is good for us. Right. So overall guys, from what we can see, I want your take now from what we can see, does it look interesting? You guys tell me, does it look interesting? Right, from what we can see, again, from a long-term compounding compounding uh, play, do you think it looks interesting or not? I want to ask you guys this question. Right, I'll tell you my take also, but you tell me whether it's good or bad. Everything looks quite interesting. For me, everything looks quite interesting, okay? Now, if you look at how much share of API segment they have, they have 77% share, they have 6.5% revenue growth year on year. This is slightly lower. It should be much more. Uh, API volume growth is 13%, but formulation is at 6.7%. See, that means formulation is dragging down the API growth, right? Volume growth, actually, this is not revenue growth. Revenue growth is 6.4, formulation is 6.7 year on year. So it is not very interesting. The growth should be faster. Why do I say the growth should be faster? Can anyone tell me? The entire year on year growth of formulation is 6.7 and year on year API is 6.4. Can someone tell me why I feel that the growth should be higher? It's because this is a small cap company. In small cap company, the growth is supposed to be higher so that it becomes a large cap company and then get 6-7% growth. But and when you're a small cap company, your growth should be much faster. Very, very, very fast. 
yes another negative element they are nine they're 80 percent dependent on their api business out of 80 percent okay now look at this i'm just tr throwing facts here okay because our job is to look at fundamentally good and bad things from a financial perspective it is good agreed but from a negative perspective let's look at be be our own devil okay we have to be our own devil from our own devil perspective 80 percent of the revenue comes from api business out of which 37 percent is exports that means 63 is domestic right if 63 percent is domestic and out of which 80 percent is from your uh formula api segment that means it is very heavily dependent on india right indian companies now something happens to india they will have a problem yes they are big clients so not very bad but still we have to look at both sides also the growth rate is not very strong the growth rate is slightly lower other companies like Loris is giving higher growth rate year on year compared to this. So this is not doing really well. But look at this API segment revenue Q on Q growth is there, but year on year growth is dipping. Now, whether it's because of COVID or not, we don't know. But even if it's not COVID, right, even if I go back to their income statement, their growth is not very, very, very large year on year. It's okay. It's, a, it's consistent compounding. I'm not saying it's bad. It's consistent compounding over a long period of time. So this does look interesting. Okay. ROC is also very good. ROE is also very good. That comes with pharmaceutical companies. EPS growth is there. Revenue growth is there. Net worth is there. Leverage is going down. Leverage is basically your debt to equity ratio is also going down. Uh, dividend has given 59 crores of dividends over the last six years. Distributed 136 crores in buyback of shares. Very good. Uh, very interesting, right? And distribution policy. This is important. What is distribution policy in companies? Every time they make money, there's a policy in the company that itna amount, itna percentage has to go back to my audience, has to go back to people. So they're saying that the company may elect to distribute 15 to 30% of net profits every year. So every year, whatever net profits they make, 15%, they might put, give it back to you guys in the form of dividends. Okay, great. Now all this looks good. There's one more place we need to go. Value picker, value picker. Now all the people who are new for the first time, this is a forum where a lot of people talk. I go here and just sit and keep watching a lot of uh, a lot of uh, articles, right? There's so much information from all smart people in India. Okay, so this is what RT Drugs Q4 result. Uh, they were doing a breakdown, earning call transcript. Everything's given here. Is the buyback shareholder friendly? Someone was talking about this in April 2022. Uh, they're talking about all this. I have not come across any good corporate. Corporate governance is good. Like this company, corporate is very good. They're doing buyback. I would take a bet on this for a very long period of time. So someone who asked about RT drugs, it is good. If you look at their other companies, let's look at RT industries, only financials. Let's look at because the company is good. If you look at their max chart. Wow. Wow. Consistent compounder every year. It's every segment. It's given revenue boss consistent compounder 36,000 crores slightly in the large cap area. If you look at their financials, it will be reflecting this. COVID time, it didn't go up. Shocking. It should have gone up. But look at this consistent growth, consistent EPS growth, except this one year, something happened, but good growth over a long period of time. So RT industries looks good. And the third RT company, which is run by another brother, which is RT uh, surfactants. This I think came out recently with the need in 2020 uh, and has given, this is something that I'm also a little bullish on. I'm keeping for a long period of time because it follows the RT trend and it's also thousand crore market cap. Right, RT company is very strong, but they're competing with a very strong company. They're competing with some a company called Galaxy Surfactants. So that is a very, very strong company that they're competing with. So you have to be careful about that. But if you look at their revenue growth every year, nice revenue growth. If you look at the net income also increasing, their EPS also increasing. So I'm a little bullish on this. This is the third RT stock that they've recently demerged in 2020 and it's consistently going up since then. And I'm holding it consistently when it's going up, right? Because I know ki Aarti ka management hi achha hai, that in the future, they will definitely think about doing something great. So this is what it is. Awesome. Cool. So this was the basic fundamental analysis of Aarti group. I would say Aarti industries. So if you ask me my take Aarti drugs, positive Aarti surfactants, you can take a bet. It's a long-term bet. RT drugs, very good. RT industry is very good. Both of them look quite decent. RT drugs, I feel you can get better drug companies in India to invest in. RT industries, I would say is definitely, definitely good, right? So that is what I would say. Awesome. Cool. I hope you guys understood this. I hope you guys, this was the session today. Okay, let me just switch this off. Huh. Okay. 
so guys i hope you guys like today's session uh please uh, okay also maintain decorum and please stop spamming i hate it when people spam again did you guys understand what we discussed today first we spoke about the discount stocks in the start okay we spoke about seven eight discount stocks diwali bonus stocks uh then we looked at connecting the dot session which we had connecting the dot session with the travel industry so that is very good we have learned a lot from that number two third we did a proper deep dive into arti industries and arti's future so let's look at that from that perspective so this was the weekend research by the way you didn't realize that it's almost been an hour since we have been sitting like this i think one hour five minutes every time we sit like this with everyone uh we don't realize how time passes because we're learning so much so again i hope you guys loved this session today and if you liked it please like i always like people when they like my stream subscribe and share this um uh, and again we'll try to get as much information out as possible i'll be coming back uh this week on monday tuesday wednesday now i'll tell you the content plan for the next coming week as well so everyone's aware of this so let me give you the content plan uh monday tuesday wednesday so, so i'm going to do this week three chemical stocks in the chemical sector so whoever wants to invest in chemical sector i'm going to do a deep dive into the chemical sector and i'm going to find you three chemical stocks from that number 1 i'm going to do one it company review a mid cap small cap it company review uh which i feel is very good for the long term uh, growth rate okay so that is something that i'm going to do also this week so we're all going to do uh a massive uh, run towards diwali so let's pick up some good stocks let's keep invested for a long period of time and let's make money over a long period of time that should be the end goal okay it takes time you cannot become a millionaire overnight don't expect to but we are in the long term game so let's play the long term picture okay awesome thank you guys uh love you guys this is me shashank udpa signing out